I'm about to do your Gemini tarot reading for November 2021. And in this Gemini love reading, we're going to take a look at how your romantic person of interest really feels about you. Gemini, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. My name is Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Gemini love reading. Now, if this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you always get notified anytime I post a new Gemini tarot reading for you. Now let's get on with this Gemini love reading today because today we're going to take a look at how your romantic person of interest really feels about you in November 2021, what they're thinking about you, what their beliefs are about you. Then we're going to take a look at what their intentions are toward you in November 2021 and then what their most likely actions are going to be toward you in November 2021. And then I'm going to finish the reading off by getting you some advice on how you should best navigate the situation you're finding yourself in with this person. What you should do, what you shouldn't do, kind of how you should play the situation so it works out in the way that's best for you. Now, this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading, which means I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person the same way I would if we were sitting across the table from each other and I was doing a personal reading for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, the information about how to get one is in the description down below. But this is a general reading, which means I'm tapping into the collective energy of the group of Gemini people that I'm supposed to be getting messages for. And that means there's no possible way this reading is going to resonate with literally every Gemini person on the entire planet all at the same time, because not every Gemini on the planet is going through the same situation all at the same time. Now, it's also important to keep in mind in general readings like this, energies can and do get flipped around backwards from time to time, especially for cross watchers, which means if you're not a Gemini and you're just watching this Gemini tarot reading because you're interested in a Gemini and you want to see what's going on with them, I'm totally cool with that. Just keep in mind that especially for cross watchers, energies are very prone to get flipped around backwards. So you just got to take it as it resonates. If it resonates backwards for you, take it that way. Now, regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still probably should watch the videos for your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign, just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And you can find the links to those videos, the info about my personal readings, info about the decks that I'm using in this reading, crystals, all kinds of fun, helpful stuff is in the description right below this video. Now, enough talking. Let's get on with this Gemini love reading, November 2021. And let's start by getting three cards for what's, what does Gemini or how does Gemini's romantic person of interest really feel about Gemini in November 2021. Please. Let's get three cards. How does Gemini's person feel about Gemini? Let's get one more, please. How do they feel about Gemini in November 2021? Let's get one more, please. How do they feel about Gemini? There it is. Thank you. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of how they're feeling here is the four of swords this is aquarius or excuse me libra energy this is about taking a pause taking a rest taking a break it's about choosing to go internal to do some healing about something or to do some thinking about something trying to figure out how to move forward with you from here right under that we have the page of wands pages are messengers so this represents news messages, communications about passion and desire. So they could be communicating with you about the passion and desire they have. They could be taking some time to figure out how to communicate their passion and desire to you. This is also the minor arcana version of the fool card, which is usually about like taking the blind leap of faith on something, not really thinking it through, just going for it and worrying about how, how it's going to work on the way. This is a little more toned down version of that. This is about having the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path towards something they have a lot of passion and desire for. So it would seem that your person has some passion and desire for you. 
at least having the willingness to try and move forward toward you or healing something so that can take place or trying to figure something out so that they can take those steps toward you here. Now, in their actual feelings for you here in November 2021, Gemini, we got the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Now, the Page of Pentacles, again, pages are messengers, news, messages, communication about some practical, tangible opportunity, some practical, tangible matter here. Sometimes this can represent planning for the future. So your person is feeling like communicating with you that's the second page I've seen. Okay, I see something else right under this page of swords. We have the hermit and the tower and yet another page and the hanged man. I see something is going on here. Something is going on here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. The hermit is Virgo energy. So... This is the Major Arcana version of this Minor Arcana Four of Swords. This is a choice. This is your person choosing to go internal to heal something or to figure how to move forward from here in terms of moving forward toward you or communicating with you. The Hermit is a much more powerful version of this Four of Swords. This is something happening that forces your person to go internal. This is a card of withdrawal isolation, like them not communicating with you, kind of being withdrawn and isolated from you. This is usually an energy of someone being forced to go inside themselves to do some soul searching on something, to do some deep inner reflection on something, some deep contemplation. It's about shining this lantern, this inner light they have down inside themselves, taking a look through the shadows of what's going on inside of them in an attempt to figure out how to move forward from here. So this Four of Swords is a choice. People choose to take a break and think about something. This ain't a choice. Something happens to force this. And what usually happens to force this is either like the Five of Swords, some painful, like mentally, psychologically painful situation, or the Tower which can oftentimes be a mentally and psychologically painful situation. I've got the tower next. This is something came apart, something very abruptly shifted here for your person. This can be like a, a foundation rocking event here. Something definitely changed to where it's not quite the same as it was before whatever this is that happened. They had some something they weren't expecting happened and it forced them to go internal here. I'm not sure if what happened was this page of cups, news, messages, communication about love and emotions. This can be the expressing of feelings. This can be like a love offer or beginning stages of a love connection that's not fully developed yet. It's kind of in its infancy. It's not fully matured yet. <clears throat> there could have been some expressing of feelings that was like whoa i didn't see that coming i didn't expect that and now everything is different for your person and they're having to go inside themselves because of these feelings being expressed and now they're searching their soul trying to figure out what to do about this it looks like that is happening a little bit further under the surface here it's like it looks like they took a, a pause for a minute to think about that about whether they have the willingness to take the steps down that path or not. And now it's like, wait a minute, now they're they're fully withdrawn because that was a game changer for them, is what it's looking like. And now we've got things being stagnant here. I'm not sure if this is representing your person expressed their feelings to you, and maybe it wasn't it wasn't reciprocated, maybe it wasn't like Maybe it came out wrong. Maybe they didn't get the reaction from you that they thought they were going to get. And that was like, whoa, boom, this is unexpected here. And now they're not quite talking the same way that they used to. And they're trying to figure something out. But progress is definitely halted. This hanged man is Pisces energy. This is progress is halted. There's no forward movement. Things are stuck right here where they are. Now the hanged man is hanging upside down. 
because he's trying to look at things from a different perspective than he would normally look at things from, a different point of view, a different angle than he would normally use to look at things. And he's trying to figure out how to get this unstuck, how to move forward from here. Very similar energy to this Hermit card. The key difference, I mean, they're both thinking about something a lot. They're not really moving forward because they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to figure out how to move forward from here. The key difference is the Hermit focuses all that trying to figure out what to do. He focuses internally, looking inside himself for the answers. And the Hanged Man is looking at things external to him for the answers on how to move forward from here. So it looks like your person is doing both of those things. Again, I don't know if this Page of Cups, it's possible they, they found news and messages of love and emotions directed to you from someone else and it was like a holy shit kind of a moment or maybe they expressed themselves to you and it didn't go the way they expected it to and now something's different for them and they're trying to figure it out looks like right under this hanged man though we have sagittarius energy of temperance this is like assimilating changes to something this is like trying to bring things back into balance this is a card of patience. It's about being like blending things together little bits at a time and being willing to take a step back and look at the big picture of how is all this working before they come back in to blend a little bit more together to make some adjustments to it, some fine tuning adjustments. This can also be an energy of reconciliation. We have cups and water represent love and emotions in tarot and this love had been separated into two different cups and this angel is recombining it, blending it back together. So this can be like recombining a situation where you two were separated for some reason. Your love had been put into two different cups instead of being all mixed together into one cup. It could be that. Another thing this page of cups can represent is an apology here. So we could have your person doing soul searching because something radically shifted here. Maybe they caused a tower in this connection and they're trying to apologize about it to get it unstuck and balance it back out. It could be any of those things, but now I have the other page right here. I have all four pages out here in their energy in terms of how they feel about you, Gemini, in November 2021. The Page of Swords is like... It's communication news messages communication it can be communication about the truth like speaking the truth on something this can be like premature or immature communication they could have said something that they didn't think through very well it came out all wrong and that caused some abrupt shift in this connection that requires an apology and they're trying to figure out how do we take the first steps down this path toward each other again how do we reconcile this? Everything seems all screwed up and stuck right now. Th this is also an energy of someone who's trying to learn something, trying to figure something out. Could be trying to figure out, again, how do I get this unstuck? How do I like recombine these cups of love? How do I balance this out? How do I assimilate the changes that have taken place here? Again, I'm feeling like they're trying to balance it out, though, because there's the Six of Pentacles, the a card of balance, generosity, reciprocity, equal give and take, balancing the situation back out. I think your person is doing a lot of thinking and a lot of trying to figure that out. And this looks like communications about some opportunity to do that or an opportunity they feel they have with you. This can be a gift. This can be them feeling like planning for the future with you. Or they could just be trying to plan for the future because of all the stuff I just told you on this story on the bottom of the deck. Trying to plan for the future of how do I figure this out and move forward here toward Gemini. Also in their feelings for you for November 2021, Gemini, the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in love and emotion. So this can be a new connection. This could be someone that maybe you weren't thinking of in the the love connection kind of sense and they expressed some feelings that they had for you and maybe it caught you off guard and you weren't expecting that and that caused this whole situation I just showed you here it could be that this could be a situation where this is someone you were together with 
and they said some things the wrong way or did something the wrong way and it brought the tower down and there's some break between the two of you now and they're trying to figure out how to fix it and start back over at square one with you again. Final card in their feelings for you for November 2021 is the Six of Swords. Now, this is Aquarius energy. I said there's two things that usually will force someone into hermit mode. It's the Tower or the Five of Swords, some mentally or psychologically painful situation. Well, the Six of Swords is the next step after that. This is about leaving the rough, choppy waters of the past behind and your person moving forward into clear waters, calm waters, where there's more clarity here, where, where they're moving away from some mentally or psychologically painful thing and moving forward toward what it is they actually want. But the woman and the child and all the swords that are stuck in this boat represent, even though they are trying to leave what happened in the past in the past and move forward toward what they want, they're doing that carrying either some burdens or some lessons they learned in the past forward with them. So your person is trying like crazy to figure out how to move forward, probably how to reconcile this connection or balance this out or get it to the stage where this new beginning can take place. Pages are, they're the least developed of the court cards. So they're like the new beginning. They can represent a child or something that's like not fully developed yet. So I'm getting the feeling that this is a new connection Either that, if it's an old connection, you're probably dealing with someone who doesn't think things through very well, who might be like slightly immature in terms of how they deal with things and how they view situations. It could be that too. This might even be a situation where, like I said, it's somebody that you didn't look at in a romantic sense and then they expressed some feelings toward you and that was like, whoa, but shit went sideways after that. And they're trying to figure out how to move past that and either get the friendship back or turn this into a new beginning in love and emotions. That's their feelings. What is this person thinking about Gemini in November 2021, please? What are they thinking about Gemini? November 2021. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. This is Cancer Energy. This is a card of emotional discontentment. Not really being happy with these three cups that they have here. So much so that they're daydreaming about this other thing, this other cup that they believe might bring them more happiness, more emotional fulfillment. Now, a lot of times this will represent that a love offer is already on the table between the two of you and it just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. The cup here has been offered but it's just been left hanging here in the air with no real decision made on that. Which could be why we're seeing that hanged man and things being stuck and stagnant. It could be why they're doing soul searching to figure out how to get this unstuck and move it forward. Now, if there has not been a love offer made between the two of you, this could be your person is thinking about making a love offer to you and they just haven't done so yet because of whatever's going on. I'm feeling more like they did make the love offer and it's just kind of hanging here in the air. Again, general reading, you got to take this however it resonates for your situation. It might be different for you than the very next Gemini that shows up after you to watch this. But this Knight of Pentacles under that is the slowest knight in the deck. Now, knights are action takers. So this is like taking actions on something, but it's the slowest night in the deck. So this is very slow moving energy. It's like methodical, one foot in front of the other, like not being in a hurry, not being in a rush. This is oftentimes energy that says your person is wanting things to move quicker than they are. And it's getting frustrating because from where they sit, it looks like no progress is actually happening at all. Like, they're, from where they sit, it looks like it's the hanged man. Everything's just stuck and frozen right here. When in reality, things are moving forward. It's just so damn slow, they can't really see it. That's what it feels like. Probably related to them offering you a cup of love. And the decision from you is slow. Progress on that is slow. I think they're thinking about taking control of the situation. Though The emperor energy is... 
It's someone who is a master manifester. They've got the tools and the resources they need to put together a plan to get what they want. Again, first card in their feelings for you is planning for the future. Putting together a plan to get what they want, executing the plan to get what they want, trying to take control of the situation and get what they want. That's what they're thinking about. And it looks like what they want is for a decision to be made on the cup of love they've offered you. And it probably hasn't happened yet. Now, in their thinking about you, Gemini, we have the star, the world, and the three of pentacles. The star is Aquarius energy again. This is a card of healing. It's also a card of hope. They could be hoping that this love offer gets accepted. It's not happening quick, and they're wanting it to be accepted here. That's what they want. That's the probably the plan that they put together here. So this could be them hoping that that happens. This is a card of wish fulfillment, so they could be thinking of you as their wish fulfillment, or you accepting this cup as their wish fulfillment. In a love reading, the star can represent like your person thinking about you as a gift to them from the universe, or thinking about you as the one for them. Another thing about the star is card 17 of the Major Arcana. We saw the Hermit, and we saw card 16 of the Major Arcana, the Tower. So this is the card that comes right after the Tower. You don't make it to the star energy without going through a Tower moment first. This is the guiding light from the universe that shows up to light the path for you after the Tower comes crashing down and you can't see your way moving forward from here. This is where your hope comes from. It's where your healing comes from. It's how you see the path moving forward and can do that. Now, in that Hermit card, where they're like taking a look inside themselves, trying to figure out how to move forward from here, the star is actually what's inside the Hermit's lamp. So this seems very significant that the star has come out in their thinking. They're probably viewing you as the one for them, and it was such a game-changing event for them when this love offer hasn't been accepted or rejected, and it's moving all slow. It's like, wait a minute, you know, they're, they're trying to process that. Next in their thinking about you, Gemini, is the world. This is, it represents the four fixed signs of the zodiac, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. This is the final card of the major arcana, so this represents the completion of cycles, but at the same time, the beginning of a new cycle. So this is the ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. That's what they're thinking about in terms of this here. This is like ascension to the next level you complete one cycle and you start the next one and that's what creates like the upward spiral where something keeps getting better and better and better now i could also create the downward spiral where the good cycle ends and a bad one starts i guess it could do that too but this could be them thinking like what their wish fulfillment would be is to end the cycle of just being friends with you and take things to a new level where this love offer gets accepted and we have a new beginning in love and emotions. It could be that. It could be them wanting the ending of a cycle where this is all slow moving and they don't feel like they're in control of the situation here and they're waiting on this love offer to be accepted or rejected. They're wanting the end of that cycle and the beginning of this cycle, this three of pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. This is a card of teamwork collaboration working together as equals to build something of value to build something great what you would be building in this case is the ten of pentacles that we all want maximum stability abundance prosperity the combining together of two people or two families and all their assets and resources to build that stable abundant prosperous happy home life that we all want so they're thinking about building something together with you here what are this person's beliefs about Gemini in November 2021, please? What do they believe about Gemini? Oh, what do they believe about Gemini? Well, that's a little... Whew. Ah, bottom 
of the deck, Queen of Swords. This is Libra energy. This is she who knows the truth. Now, the Queen of Swords is usually fair, and she'll let you speak your truth. You can see how she holds her hand out, offering to let you speak your truth. The problem with her is she already knows the damn truth. So the truth you speak to her had better match the truth she already knows, or she's going to use the sword to cut you. So this is an energy of speaking the truth about something. It's an energy of like cutting off the things and the people that no longer serve you, the things and the people that aren't in your best interest anymore. Nine of Cups is on the bottom of that. This is another card of wish fulfillment. This is Pisces energy. This is also a singles energy. This is someone, it can be someone who is emotionally happy and content in and of themselves. Like they don't need some external person from them to get their happiness from. Their happiness comes from inside. This is someone who doesn't need some external person to get their sense of love or being worthy of love. Because that's coming from inside themselves. They love themselves. They're full of their own self-love. All nine of their cups are already full. Now, I'm hoping that is what they're believing about you. That A, you're their wish fulfillment. And B, that your cups are already full. You don't need anybody to be happy and emotionally content. You've got all of that inside yourself. This is actually... Most people's goal in love and relationships is to get to that Ten of Cups, like that happy fairy tale love connection, that happy fairy tale ending. But what people don't realize is this should be the goal, because you can't make it to the Ten of Cups unless you are in this Nine of Cups and your person is also in this Nine of Cups. In that case, both of your cups are already full. Neither of you actually need the other one to be happy and content and loved and feel worthy of love. You both already have that, but because you're together, you'll pour the love into each other anyway, and that causes the cups to overflow. That's what fills up that tenth cup. That's how you get to the happy fairy tale love connection. Most people don't get that, and they try to come into a relationship when they don't have all nine of their own cups full. They might only have, you know, six or seven cups full. And then the only way to get their cups full would be to start draining yours off, to siphon the love and emotions off of you to fill themselves up. That's someone who needs you in order to be happy. They don't feel whole without the other person filling them up all the way. And in the process, that drains that person's nine cups. And sure, theirs get filled to nine. But now this person gets drained down to six or seven, and that's one of those up and down, back and forth type of relationships that never really goes where you want it to go. I'm not sure if this is saying your person believes you just cut off their wish fulfillment. That's kind of what it's feeling like. Because you haven't necessarily accepted or rejected the love offer yet, it's like they believe you're a wish fulfillment, but then they also believe that you're going to cut them off here. You're going to sever their chances at getting that. Which kind of tells me that your person isn't necessarily in the Nine of Cups here. Or they wouldn't be so dwelling on it here. Now, in their actual beliefs about you, Gemini, we have the Eight of Swords. The Moon. The Ace of Swords. And the King of Swords. I got way, way too many swords in this person's beliefs. I got a sword on the bottom. And three of these four cards are swords. The one that's not is the moon. And it's about fears and worries and anxieties. And not good. I'm just going to start at the beginning. Eight of Swords. Gemini Energy. This is a feeling of being stuck in their head about something thinking about something on this repeating loop in their mind over and over and over again, can't get their mind to shut up about it. And they're not sure what the safe step to take is with you. They're feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because they don't know what the safe step to take is. Now, this is their beliefs about them, about you, I mean. So this could be them believing that you are stuck in your head thinking about it. That you aren't sure what to do here. That you're feeling stuck here in this decision that they've put on you. Possibly feeling like if, if they're feeling like you're the one that's stuck, they might also be feeling like you're going to cut them off, cut off their wish fulfillment, cut their chances of that off. 
Next, we got that moon card, Pisces Energy. This is fears, worries, anxieties, a feeling of something being hidden in the dark, feeling like there's something they can't see. Probably because they're, you know, stuck in their head. There's a blindfold on the person in this card. This is a card that's a self-imposed mental prison of their own thoughts. This is almost like that kind of a case where this person's really only stuck because they believe they're stuck. They have a blindfold on, they can't see where they're going, and their arms are bound, but they're not bound tightly. If they wanted to, they could just shimmy a little bit, take those binds off their arms, take the blindfold off, and they could see that, oh damn, I'm not stuck. Really, all the swords are behind me here. I could just walk this way and be fine. But because of the way they're thinking about a situation, it's got them feeling stuck. It's got them feeling the fears and the worries here. Now, they could believe there's something they don't know about you or there's something that they can't see as it relates to you. It could be any of those things. Then in their beliefs, we have the Ace of Swords. This is the Sword of Victory, the Sword of Truth, the Sword of Clarity. It's also the sword you would use to make a decision with, like the word decision, the Latin word that word comes from literally means to cut off, as in to cut off the other options and be left with one option. That's how you make a decision. This can even be the sword you would use to sever a relationship, to sever a connection, to sever something in your life that's not in balance. It's the sword the Queen of Swords uses here. So they could be having a lot of fears and worries and like thinking over and over and over again on this loop that they're going to get the sword here. They could believe they're going to get the sword that you're going to ax them and you're going to cut off their opportunity for wish fulfillment with you. I mean, clearly they, they're thinking of you as wish fulfillment. They're thinking of you as the one. They're feeling like having this new beginning in love with you. The final card in their beliefs is the King of Swords. This is Gemini energy. This is a decision maker. They believe that the decision here is yours and they don't know what you're going to decide. They can't see that and they're fearful and worried about it and they're stuck in just thinking about it constantly and can't can't quiet their mind because of that because they don't know what's going to happen. This is a decision maker and it's someone that when he makes his decisions he's emotionally detached about it. He doesn't consult his emotions when he decides. He's only looking at the truth and the facts of the matter. What can he see right in front of him? And he's going to use that to come to the best, most logical, most rational, most fair decision for everyone involved. He's not looking at the emotions. He doesn't give a shit about the story behind what's going on, just the facts. Now, another interesting thing here is we have the counterparts. We have the king and the queen of swords here. Normally, when you have a king and queen of the same suit, that's a power couple. That's counterparts. That's two cards that are supposed to be together. Usually represents two people who are probably supposed to be together. In the case of the sword suit, though, it represents two people who used to be together. So, at least in your person's beliefs, they don't seem very confident at all that you're going to decide in their favor. They believe that the decision is yours to make. Like, you literally have all the decision power in the deck right here. It's yours to make. They can't see what to do about it. They feel stuck and helpless and trapped waiting on your decision. And they don't look very confident about it. So that's their feelings and their thoughts and their beliefs about you, Gemini. Let's take a look at what this person's intentions are toward you in November 2021. What is this person's intentions towards Gemini in November 2021, please? What are their intentions toward Gemini? What are their intentions towards Gemini? Let's get one more, please. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. We've already seen this Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands is a new beginning in passion and desire. A passionate new beginning. Spark of some new passion. Now this can also represent the male phallus and using it to be intimate. So this can represent sex, sexual energy, things like that. 
having some sort of a passion. I'm feeling more like a passionate new beginning is what they're intending. Four of Pentacles right under that Capricorn energy. This is holding on tightly to you and not wanting to let go of you because they want this passionate, intend to have this passionate new beginning. There's the Hierophant right under that. This is Taurus energy. This is a card of commitment. It's about taking things to the next level from wherever they are right now. If you guys are just friends, they want to take this to the next level and be romantic partners and have this new beginning in love and this new beginning in passion with you. If you guys were together in that sense already and that tower was something happened between you and they're trying to figure out how to blend it all back together and fix it, this is them wanting to fix it and get back into a commitment with you. This could also be them thinking about this in the long-term commitment sense of like engagements and marriage. So it can be that too. I'm feeling more like they're wanting to balance the commitment back out though. Although, if you're going to get engaged and married, you kind of got to involve the legal system, the justice system here. I've got justice next, Libra energy. This could be balancing out a, a marriage or this could be trying to get married to begin with or thinking long term about getting married this could just be it's the most powerful card of balance in the deck it's about doing the right thing the just thing the fair thing the sword here in that card is the same ace of swords that we just saw in their beliefs and here it's used to sever something that's not in balance so balance can be restored and the right fair just thing can happen this could be your person thinking that the right thing would be to have a commitment with you or intending to balance this commitment out with you, trying to get justice for the fact that it's not going the way they want it to. And they're not wanting to let go of you. That's for sure. They don't intend to let go of you. In their actual intentions, Gemini, we have the Ten of Pentacles. There's that Queen of Swords again. Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, we saw that. It's like the news and messages of some practical, tangible opportunity. He's carrying the Ace of Pentacles, which is the seed that has the potential to grow into this Ten of Pentacles. We saw this Three of Pentacles in there thinking about you. Teamwork, collaboration, working together is equals to build this Ten of Pentacles with you. In their intentions, they intend to have this Ten of Pentacles with you. Maximum stability, abundance, prosperity, the combining together of two people or two families and all their assets and resources to make something very stable here. Happy home life. <sighs> Queen of Swords, though. Speaking the truth about something or cutting off the things and people that no longer serve them. What, what, I'm, what I'm feeling here is like, look, they're going to speak the truth to you that this is what they want. They want you to accept this love offer. They want to like balance this commitment out. They don't intend to let go of you. Oh, shit. Yeah, what I'm feeling is correct. Right under that justice card that we just looked at, we have the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy. At the very beginning in their feelings... When we saw the hermit on the bottom of the deck, I said there's two things that can put you in hermit mode to the best of my knowledge. The tower, the five of swords, some psychologically, mentally painful situation. We saw the six of swords in their feelings, trying to move past that, leave it behind, move away from it, and go toward what they want. It looks like they're going to speak the truth to you about what it is they want. They want justice for that. They want this all to be balanced out so that it, what they view as the right thing of you guys being together happens. And in lieu of that, if that doesn't happen, this is a painful situation. They're going to sever that. This five of swords can be bickering, arguing, fighting, using words as weapons, using tongues like swords to cut each other. This is a conflict of some kind. <sighs> this is sometimes a winning at all cost mentality. Like, I'm going to get what I want. And I don't care what happens to you. If I don't get what I want, this isn't going to be pleasant. This, this is 
the kind of person that will throw a temper tantrum when they don't get what they want or call you all kinds of names when they don't get what they want. This could even be the kind of person that's like, if I can't have you, no one can. It can be that type of an energy here. They're wish fulfillment again. And there's another five, more conflict. This is really, really feeling like, dude, I want this to go a certain way. If it doesn't, it's either going to be incredibly, incredibly painful for them, and they're going to have to cut their losses and move on. Or, if they don't get what they want, they're going to like start cutting you with their words. One of the two. Might be different for you than the next Gemini who watches this. But the final card in their intentions is the Six of Wands. This is Leo energy. It's a card of recognition as in them recognizing something about you or about themselves or about the situation and whatever they're recognizing is allowing them to move forward in success and victory now this could just be that they're going to come and speak the truth to you about wanting to combine this together with you and build something with you and get to this ten of pentacles with you and they recognize that that's what they want to do and they're going to intend to move forward with that could be that at least that's their intentions but you know how people are what they intend to do what they actually end up doing are sometimes very different different things so tell me about this person's most likely actions here in november 2021 and moving forward please what are their most likely actions toward gemini in november 2021 and moving forward Bottom of the deck, there's the Hermit, Virgo energy, withdrawal, isolation, being forced to go internal to do some soul searching about this, to do some deep inner reflection, some deep contemplation about this, trying to figure out how to move forward with taking this leap of faith with you, how to get this to become the leap of faith, the beginning of the tarot deck, beginning of the major arcana, card zero, that zero represents absolutely nothing and the potential for everything all at the same time. We do have the world out here in their thinking about you, like the ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. They're still in their thinking, in deep contemplation mode, very likely to continue that thinking about getting a new beginning. How do I get Gemini to just say, screw it and jump off the cliff with me? And we can figure this out as we move along. <sighs> Major Arcana Fool, Minor Arcana version of it with the Page of Wands. The willingness to take the very first steps down a new path towards something that there's passion and desire for. Knight of Wands, second fastest knight in the deck. Rushing forward, taking rapid passionate action towards something they have passion and desire for. Very quick moving energy. <sighs> Things are escalating here too. We're going, excuse me, we're going from the page of wands to the knight of wands, moving up a step. And I'm getting a tiny bit ahead of myself here, but the final card in their most likely actions is the king of wands. A lot of passion for you, a lot of desire to have you or to have a connection with you and that desire is likely to escalate the longer they stay isolated and in their head thinking about all of this the more likely they are to like want this leap of faith with you actually take an action on it of trying to escalate this communicating with you about it trying to take actions toward that yeah they're still thinking about it right now though this you guys seem to be on a break of some kind. Whether that is you are together and there's a break in the connection right now. Or whether they're taking a break and you're taking a break because emotions were expressed. A love offer was made. And that changed everything. Definitely, again, minor arcana version of that major arcana card. Minor arcana version of that major arcana card. Got a lot of that going on in this reading here. 
in their most likely actions toward you, Gemini, we have temperance, strength, king of cups, king of wands. Hmm. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. This is patience. This is like mixing stuff together a little bit at a time. Take a step back. Let's look at the big picture. How is all this working out? And then coming back in, trying to make some adjustments to it. Blend a little bit more. Fine tune things a little bit. Trying to get it just right. That seems to be what happened. Like they communicated something to you. Maybe caught you off guard. It changed everything. There's some break in the connection now. They're waiting on you to either accept or reject their love offer that they've made. Intending to combine this back together with you and speak the truth about it and move forward. But it hasn't happened yet still. And they're trying to be patient. And they're also very likely to try to come back in and communicate more. To escalate the situation. Take it a step further and try like hell to blend the two of you together here into a connection next we have strength leo major arcana card this is a card that tells me this is a difficult situation for them to deal with clearly we keep seeing the hanged man you don't get the hanged man mode because it's peaches and cream and easy difficult situation this is also them trying to dig down deep into their inner strength to make it through this, trying to have the courage to face their fears about this. We saw the fears, worries, and anxieties being trapped and stuck waiting on you to make some sort of a decision here. This can also be an energy of them trying to tame that beast inside themselves, trying to rein themselves in, trying to hold themselves back. <clears throat> so they don't take this blind leap of faith off the cliff. So they don't escalate the situation and try to move things too fast and cause some sort of a mistake to happen. It's them trying to exercise patience here. Then we have the King of Cups. This is Pisces energy. This is telling me that they have a lot of love and emotions for you, but they aren't very likely to be outwardly expressing that now. It looks like they did in the past with that Page of Cups. We saw all four pages. Like, Whatever they said, they didn't think it through all the way first. Maybe it came out wrong. Maybe it was too soon to say what they said. And it's changed everything. Well, this is them being very likely to not express how they're feeling about it. This is someone who, like, no matter how choppy the waters get around him, he keeps his calm, he keeps his composure. It's not easy to tell something's bothering the King of Cups because he doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He doesn't publicly broadcast how he's feeling about things. So this is them not expressing the emotions to you and probably likely to pretend like this isn't bothering them when it's bothering them a great deal. It's taken a lot of internal strength to hold themselves back and be patient while they try to figure out how to move this forward. Then we have the King of Wands. Again, we saw the page in the Knight of Wands. Things escalating in terms of desire and drive and motivation to get what they want. Well, the King of Wands, he's a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person. Sagittarius or Leo. This is someone who knows exactly what he wants. And he goes after what he wants with bold, passionate, fiery determination. He doesn't take no for an answer. He doesn't let obstacles get in his way. He doesn't accept excuses. He goes out and gets what he wants. He'll move mountains to get what he wants. It's also someone who's very driven, very motivated, full of passion and desire, full of sexual energy, is driven and motivated by that. We saw the Ace of Wands at some point. Another thing that's like, the way these cards are laid on the table, those two kings are facing each other. It's like two boxers in a ring squaring off against each other, looking eye to eye in opposition. So it's feeling like, this person is really struggling to maintain, to like rein themselves in. They're struggling to be patient because they have so many emotions for you that they're not talking about. They have so much passion and desire for you that they're trying to hold themselves back from acting on. And I think these two things are like at odds with each other inside them. Like this desire to keep a lid on it all and to stay 
calm and composed and not let you see how much passion and how much emotions they have versus this drive to just freaking go for it and get what you want. That's what it feels like is going on in your person's most likely actions here. Well, that's your person, Gemini. Let's get you some advice on how the hell to navigate the situation with this person in November 2021. What should you do? What should you not do? How should you play this in a way so it works out in a way that's best for you? What is the advice for Gemini, please? Let's get three cards of advice for Gemini. There we go. Bottom of the deck, page of pentacles. <sighs> News, messages, communications of some practical, tangible opportunity presenting itself to you. The very first card in this whole reading, the very first card in your person's energy, same page of pentacles. News and messages of some opportunity for a new beginning in a love connection here. Bad news and messages put you in a Nine of Swords energy. This is Gemini energy. This is fears, worries, anxieties. Thinking about something a lot with all the fear, worry, and anxiety behind your thinking. And thinking about it all so much that it's actually stressing you out. This can be a card of like sleepless nights. This can be a card of like you're having problems eating or concentrating or staying focused on something. Because this, the news and messages of this, is worrisome to you. There's the tower. You can't make this shit up. It's basically the same story the other deck just told me here. This Something changed when they gave you the communications of some opportunity about a new beginning in love here. Yeah, it changed everything. Nothing's been the same since then between the two of you. The moon, fears, worries, anxieties, a feeling like something's hidden in the dark. That's the central card in their beliefs about you. Like there's something they don't know about, something they can't see, something they're fearsome, yeah, feared and worried about. Right under that moon for you is the seven of cups. This is Scorpio energy. This is options and choices and you having confusion about those options and choices. There's a lot of cups here. A lot of different ways you could play this. A lot of emotions are involved here. And you're not wanting to make a mistake. And you're confused about what to do. Regarding this new beginning in passion and desire. Knight of Swords. This is rushing forward and speaking the truth on something. It's rushing forward, taking rapid, decisive action on something. This is a decisive type of an energy. You're confused about what to decide here. And this is either you rushing forward to speak the truth about that, or this is you like making a decision hastily, even though you are confused. Maybe not hastily. Maybe you thought it through and you make a decision. I have justice next. This is Libra energy. This is... The most powerful card of balance in the tarot deck. This is about doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. So you could be rushing forward and speaking the truth, trying to do the right thing here. You could make be making a decision to balance things out. This is probably going to be different for you than it is the very next Gemini watching this. This is probably, we all have free will. This advice isn't going to tell you exactly what to do. It can sometimes be taken multiple different ways, and it's up to you to decide how you want to apply your will to that, what choice you want to make. But this is doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing, severing something that's not in balance so balance can be restored and the right, fair, just thing can happen. Eight of Cups under that, though, Pisces Energy. This is a card of detachment, like emotional detachment, physical detachment, physically walking away from something. The moon is really prevalent here. I've seen the moon in both of your energies here, like something being hidden in the dark. 
This is about walking away from something you're not fully happy with and making the difficult but conscious choice to go down a new path towards something that you believe is going to lead you to your own emotional happiness, your own fulfillment. You're walking away from eight cups, going off in search of your ninth cup and your tenth cup. We've seen that ninth cup a couple of times in your person's energy, like viewing you as wish fulfillment. This is a matter, though, of you're the one with the decision to make here. What is your wish fulfillment? Huh. Right under that Eight of Cups, though, is the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, the card of work, putting in the work on something, putting in the time, effort, and energy on something, or at the very least, being willing to put in the work, time, effort, and energy on something. Three of Pentacles. Saw that in your person's thinking about you. Capricorn energy, teamwork, collaboration, working together as equals to build something. Building this Ten of Pentacles that they intend to have with you. It could be that you're detaching from something and being willing to put in the work in building something with them. Queen of Cups. Got the King of Cups out here in their most likely actions. They have a lot of love and emotions for you. Not necessarily talking about it now after what happened. Queen of Cups is in here for you. This is telling me that you have feelings for them. You have love and emotions for them. This is also someone who's very intuitive. Someone who has love and emotions that they want to give. Hmm. Five of Cups under that though. That's like sadness and remorse about the past. Being focused on the cups of love that have been spilled out. The, the love and emotions that have been spilled out. The time, effort, and energy that's been wasted. I don't know if something happened between the two of you here. Or if this is just... You having love and emotions for them, but not on the same level that they have for you. And you're sad and remorseful about that. It could be either of those two things here. In your actual advice that came out, we got the Page of Wands. The Four of Wands. And temperance, all fire sign energies right here, all three of them. Page of Wands, we already saw at some point in the in your person's most likely actions, going from the Hermit to the Fool, and then this Page of Wands to Knight of Wands, accelerating things, trying to take it a step further than just messages, but acting on it now. This looks like more messages coming in here. Or this can even be you having the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path with someone towards something that you have some element of passion and desire for. Four of Wands. This is Aries energy. This is stability. Like stability of the home life. Stability of the family life. Stability of the connection between the two of you. These four Wands represent 1111, which is on my shirt, it's on the clock, it's the number of manifestation. It's about manifesting the thing that you want, and it actually finally appearing in the physical 3D reality. It's being able to celebrate the arrival of the stability that you want, or the thing that you desired that you were trying to manifest. This could be that you have in the willingness to take the first steps down a new path toward manifesting some stable connection with this person. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is, again, we saw this in your person's most likely actions. First card of their most likely actions. Notice the blending together of the cups, combining it into one. Being patient about it. It might be a case where, like, you just have to take some time to think about whatever happened here, whatever they expressed to you that caused the tower. It's, you had some worries about it. I think that's probably why your person is stuck in their head and their beliefs. Maybe they're believing you are stuck in your head. I do see you in that Nine of Swords worried state. They just can't see what you're going to do because you can't see what you're going to do yet. And then some clarity happens. 
things can move forward here. The decision gets made. Truth is spoken. In the meantime, your person is likely to try to be patient, to try to rein themselves in and be patient. But they really are at odds with themselves here, like between their emotions not being expressed and their desire that they can't express and like fighting back and forth between keeping a lid on that and just going for it. It's looking like a rough spot here. If you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Gemini love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.